Oh, BC's Bear Review. BC's Bear Review. Oh, BC's Bear Review. Guess what today is? It's Saturday. And I'm going to do a beer review. And it's like 78 degrees outside, according to my weather app. And the humidity is on the plus side today. I talk. So, uh, today seems to be a good day. And. Uh, I hate to say it, but it's one of them things today, man, where, hold on. Probably should have done that before I started recording. So, um, here we go. It's the last show of Bell's Beers. And, man, I tell you what, this Bell's Beers was kicking my behind. This is 10 beers total. And I hate to say it, it's but, you know, I got a new old cooler today. I have to say, man, it's official. It's the end of the Bell's Beer series, man. So, you know, I hate to say it. I could only find this in can form, and it's kind of fitting. Out of all these bottles of beers I've been doing, that one that I did of Lager of the Lakes that I was feeling nostalgic, and I find it kind of fitting that I kind of miss, as I would say, all junk, crack those beer can, and two shots went down smooth. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Kind of reminds me of that Lager the Lake beer, man. Color. Going got going lock color. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Ooh. Now this is a I uh hazy IPA. So so it's a 6.4 APV here. And if I'm not mistaken, they brew this beer all year round, okay? And as you can tell, it's pretty hazy. So, uh, it's a, yeah, hazy India pale ale. So, let's see here, what's it say? Punch and American hops combined with wheat. And Pilsner malt the results in a smooth aromatic juicy <laughs> he said juicy <laughs> IPA <laughs> I like my girls juicy <laughs> he's so juicy <laughs> yeah that is definitely hazy they say it's supposed to be like a foodie like almost somewhat of a take on the New England pale ales. Yeah, it's definitely fruity. It's definitely fruity. Yeah. I'm getting grapefruit in this. Yeah. Or what seems like grapefruit. Definitely taste the hops in this one. I'm not getting nothing lingering on the tongue, so that's good. Uh, so, um, yeah, this is a pretty good beer. It was a really good beer. Before I get into a rating system, I've got to say, I've got some bad news for you guys. I hate to say it, but I'm going to be taking about a week off, okay? So, that you're not going to get your Wednesday video, okay? If you're watching this, please subscribe. Subscribe to my channel. I'm going to take at least a week off, okay? I know 4th of July is a week from now. I'm not saying I'll be back on the 4th of July. I'm just saying I'm taking a break, okay? Uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, now is the time. So when I do post it, new stuff, because I've done two back-to-back -back series back-to-back. I did victory beers, and then I did this. And I'm not saying it was a bad thing that I did them back-to-back. -back. I'm not saying that. 
this here consumed a lot of the time of me reviewing beers. And I'm not saying that's a bad thing. I enjoyed every beer review, whiskey review, bourbon review, single malt review I've done so far that you've seen me. But when I had that uh, bourbon barrel aged beer last week, I need to take a break. That was one of those beers that you want to do in moderation. I only had one four pack and it was a bad night that night. I'm not going to get into the details, but if you guys follow me on anything else, you know what happened. I'm not going to go over there. I apologize. So, it was the alcohol mostly talking. So, that's partly why I'm taking a break. That barrel age perfect beer got me mean. So, a lot of times I'm not. That's why I'm kind of taking a break. So I'm glad I only drank that one four pack that night. So, um, again, back to the beer. It's a good beer. And I always wanted to finish this series off on this beer. To make it <laughs> official. Okay. So, it's a good beer. Fell that grapefruit and some fruitiness in there. I'm really digging it. Now, this type of thing, I'm not saying it's a bad beer. I would have to go, ah, I want to say a seven or eight. I, you know what? I'm going to give them a good effort, and it's a good beer. I would have to go on an eight on this one. Okay. You know what? I'm feeling good. I'm digging this. I'm going to have to go 8.5 on this one. And, you know, I think, mm, yeah, I would have to go 8.5 on this one. So, I mean, look at this color. You can see it. Look at that. Look at that. It's looking good. I mean, it's got no floaties like that Oberon does. And... You know, I'm not saying Oberon was a bad beer. I mean, you guys are free to choose whatever beers you want to drink. I'm not going to stop you. But I'm just here to maybe bring up maybe conversation that you might have later on with your buddies or whatever. Uh, be said, hey, did you see uh do you see the beer review? Did you hear what he gave this beer? Did you hear what he gave that beer? And, you know, hey, I've always said, hey, our taste buds are different. And that's fine. I'm not saying I'm right and you're wrong or vice versa. I'm just saying we've got our own styles. And I'm just presenting mine. Now, like I've always said in my videos, I enjoy bringing these videos to you guys. I always have. Always did. And when I come back, I will. But you just got to know. Some things, you just got to leave it off. And it's just one of them things. So I apologize. So, again, this is BC's Bear Reviews. Giving this an 8.5, and I'll have to say, salute you, beer, Bell's Beers. You gave me a hell of a run, 10 beers, and you know what? Even with that mishap with the Abercadabra beer, I might not have reviewed it, but you know what? All the other ones, I enjoyed every single one of them reviews. I mean, I know I gave them different numbers and whatnot, but you know what? That's just me. And you guys at Bell Beers know you've got your people out there buying your stuff. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sorry, you know how I get when I'm drinking. <clears throat> and you know what? Hey, that's a good thing. I know when I want to flip it on them or change it up on them or whatever. 
from my go-to beer, which is Milwaukee's best place, I know I've got nine beers that I know I've tried that if I get a craving for, oh, you know what? I'm feeling like the Two Hearted Ale, or I'm feeling like the Oberon, depending on the time of the year, or I'm feeling like the Porter, or what have you. So, it's one of them things. So, I'll talk to you guys next week. Like I've always said, drink responsibly. Don't do nothing stupid. So, peace out, brother man. Peace out, sister girl. And I'll see you next time on the BC's Bear Review.